Now my mother, she has a Parkinson, she has a heart condition, she's barely able to take uh, stand up. She began to shake really bad and when she began to shake she fell out of her hands and she fell in the water. The current grabbed her the first time, it grabbed her the second time and the third time when the current grabbed her and we were able to pull her up, she had stopped breathing so she literally drowned. But this is um, while we're still on the roof of the truck, when we get her onto the roof of the house, my brother Jonathan resuscitated her. And this is all before the hurricane passed. So we were on the roof, we were fighting water, all before Hurricane Katrina actually made its way to the city. So we, we, we were actually up there through the first wave, through the eye of the hurricane, and through the second wave. And at the end of the hurricane, my mother laid in front of our eyes, dead with a leaf in her mouth and her eyes open. So literally, she died there. So now, with nothing but water all around us, nothing but other people on top of the roof, stuck in trees, and in the distance we see a boat. And the boat kept going and coming, going and coming, so we started throwing rocks, yelling at them. And it turned out to be three neighbors, Ernest All Night Shorty, or we call him Ernest Edwards, Antonio Guy, and Keith Rivers. They took Ernest Edwards' bass boat, put it back in the water, and they were the first people to rescue people. Uh, they were the first responders in our minds, and these three guys literally rescued 200 people from out of the water, from off the rooftops, and brought them to the Claiborne Bridge. And he also went to the Coast Guard station, and they were gone. They evacuated, they got out of Dodge, and they were gone. Uh, so when he went to the St. Claude Bridge, he was able to find out that we could be brought to the St. Claude Bridge and they would rescue us, but we had to make our own way through the water, through the down power lines. And so Ernest Edwards actually took us to the bridge where they had previously taken 200 people out of the water, out of trees that were trapped everywhere. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. Yeah, baby, that's my house and I love it. But that's okay. I tell you, it looks better than a FEMA trailer. It looks better than living somewhere else. You know, this home for us. And my grandkids love it. And that's all that matters to me. You know, he is every day. And we get that sentiment a lot about the differences. But the idea is, um, we had a horrendous time in Katrina. And had it not been for Ernest Edwards, Antonio Guy, and Keith Rivers, and 200 other people would have been stuck in the water because everybody who didn't get rescued by those three guys wound up staying on top of the roofs three to five days and in our case we'd have been on top of the roof with my mother's dead body with no food and no water three to five days so for us they were a blessing.